welcome to Hello Artist, an interview series where we get to know one visual artist but keep it brief enough to leave you wanting more. Kind of like visiting Germany to see the Berlin Wall in 1992, because it fell in 1991. I'm your host, Marissa Tani Thaler, and tonight we're talking to an artist who's in the business of creating walls worth seeing. Please say hello to Isaiah Lattimore. Hello, artist. Hello. Thank you so much for being here with me. No, thank you for having me on. The way that we're going to do the interview is I will ask you four questions and then we'll do a speed round, all right? All right. So first of all, go ahead and tell me about who you are as a creator and what kind of artwork you do. Typically, I do a lot of figurative work. As far as canvas painting goes, I like to use a lot of traditional methods. I like to think that I try to blend those, maybe academic teachings with some of the things I learned doing street art and graffiti. Mm. Uh, and then recently, I've been doing a lot of murals with aerosol paints. Tell us what you are currently working on. I just wrapped up the two murals on the Lansing River Trail. Uh, and then as far as the studio goes, I just started a series of paintings. Um, it's a lot about trying to articulate the mulatto experience, kind of comparing that to being between two cultures, mm -hmm. and then finding what space where that interacts with being between, again, that street art aesthetic and then some of the more traditional painting methods. There's probably a lot of parallels between street art being seen as almost like an outsider art movement. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of what it is is that they're both so different to each camp. You know, if, if artists come up in university, their idea of art really kind of excludes what happens in street art. And then conversely, if you talk to graffiti artists, a lot of the way they view your more traditional studio artists, uh, there's just that disconnect. Sometimes I try to bridge the gap, I think. What kind of thing inspires your artwork? The biggest thing I like to draw inspiration from really is just other people's work. You see how they approach the same challenges that you face as far as just being creative. It's just amazing, you know. You're so connected with the whole art world right now. You can see what everyone's doing. It For me, you just don't want to get left behind. So. Yeah, I noticed that with some of your work, it was almost merging some biblical influences and Greek mythology. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that is just using the language of antiquity reference more technical or classical art, but then it also looks cool, I think. So can you tell us about what you would consider to be your most important or your biggest moment uh, of your art career thus far? The biggest moment so far would have been last year, getting to participate in the Flint Public Art Project. Mm -hmm. um, for people who don't know, the Flint Public Art Project, they raised funds last year to do over 100 murals. We had artists from all over the world come in, which was just insane. You know, we get a lot of notoriety for not so flattering things. Yeah, I mean, Flint of all places to get artists from all over the world, especially exposing young kids who perhaps don't get to see art of that caliber that often. I mean, it was, it was a big deal. It, it, it was pretty cool. I'm curious, as like your background in street art and, and graffiti, do you feel that since it's kind of almost like art for the people and everything, do you feel that there's almost an added opportunity or even responsibility to highlight different social or political issues? I think you touch on a lot the difference between maybe street art and graffiti art. I know a lot of people use those two words synonymously. I think the street art space very much is about that conversation with the public and then what do you do with that you know in that space there's there is a lot of opportunity to make political statements where graffiti art was much more for the arts you know one of the things i love about graffiti art is that you know it'll be gone soon it's really this kind of self-indulgence and that's really the only audience i have to please all right, so we've made it to the speed round part of the interview. Are you ready? Question number one, what is your favorite color? That's an unfair question. That's like picking your favorite kid. Question number two, favorite artist. I'm going to say Rembrandt. I mean, one of the things I love about him so much is that a lot of his work was commissioned, so he worked as in that space of being a working artist. Mm. What he was able to do as far as implement his own creativity while still in that space. Question number three, what's your favorite part of your creative routine? Sounds bad, but I like finishing something. Even better or worse, whether I feel good about it or bad about it, there's just this feeling like, oh, hey, like I did a thing. Like, and then question number four is a question just for me. What would you say is your most irrational fear? And I'll go first to level the playing field. Mine is trains. 
Uh, I still don't like going in the basement if it's dark. That's that's creepy. Is it just the dark, or is it like something might be down there? I know there's something down there because soon as you start <laughs> doing, the basement monsters come out, and you got to get out before they get you. So as we wrap up, is there anything that you wanted to plug or uh, tell us where we can find you on social media? My Instagram is Lattimore.art, and then my website is LattimoreArt.com. Uh, you can also check out right now at Lansing Art Gallery was the two murals I just did. You can check out the art for 2020. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really, uh, I was really looking forward to getting to talk to you, especially since you have work that has just gone up here in Lansing. Nice. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us today. You can find Isaiah's information in the description of the video below. And be sure to join us next time where we can say hello to one more artist. Thank you.